Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been talking about the laws of prosperity. Praise God. Now, you know, John said something. He says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in head, even as your soul is prospering. So the first thing that needs to prosper is your soul. Now, that's all I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing with you the prosperity of your soul, your thinking. See, your thinking has to first of all grasp what God means by prosperity. You've got to understand it. You've got to receive it in your heart. See, now that's the prosperity of your soul. So when you stop cheating the government, it's the prosperity of your soul. Because yesterday I was talking about paying taxes, paying bills, you know, governments, whatever bills they are. And I said yesterday, it doesn't matter what they do with the money. Now, of course, it's right for you to demand what, what they are supposed to do for you. If they are supposed to build the roads, demand it. But you see, don't stop paying, even if they don't respond to your demand. Don't stop paying. Why? Because you believe that there is God who judges all things. One day, God is going to judge your faithfulness in paying of tax. Oh, I wish you will understand this. See, Jesus said we are the salt of the earth. How do you think we, we, we function as salt? You know, sometimes we think we, we have to get into government. You know, we have to, um, we have to get a Christian president, a, a born-again president, before things will change. No! If our attitude is not right, even if we have Jesus as the president of our country, who will make things difficult for him? I'm telling you the truth. But let me tell you this. If our attitude is right, and we all begin to function according to the spirit of God. Now, now I'm paying my time. Now, just think about the believers, all the believers that are doing one business or, or the other. In, in, in our nation, for example. Just think about it. And when they want to pay their tax, they go before the Lord and say, Father, I did this business, you know, and, and, and I've got some tax to pay. Lord, I release my tax by faith. And it says, going into that government office, it's going to cause a change. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what are you doing? You are sending an angel with your money. Now, you just be there one day and suddenly they just wake up and say, you know what, we're coming to fix your road. He said, oh, really? What happened? No, we just included it in the budget and we have to do the job. That's how we attract good things. Because we, remember what the Bible says, that we should be ready to avenge all what? Disobedience. When our obedience is complete. Now, you shout that the government is not working. You shout that they are not doing what they are supposed to do. Is your obedience complete? I know some of you are saying, look, I don't agree with this message. Oh, but, but you see, we've got to obey the word of God. He says, pay taxes. <laughs> let, me read, let me read this. It says, Romans 13, verse 7. It says, render therefore to all their dues, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom custom, to whom custom is due, fear to whom fear is due, honor to whom honor is due. Never join people that will insult the president or the, 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 those in authority, whether they are good or whether they are bad. Now, that doesn't mean you don't point out what they are doing wrong. Now, you can point out what they are doing wrong without being insulted. See, the, to insult is from your heart. If you can release venoms from your heart, it means there is venom, venom inside of you. So you have a problem to deal with. But you can correct someone in love. And that's what God expects us to do. Now, when we begin to correct in love, the power of God backs it up and it will cause a change in their lives. Praise God. But listen, let's take back our nation. And how do we take back our nation? Let's put our money in there. <laughs> listen, you can get so big that you begin to even fix things yourself. And the government will come and ask you, how are you doing this? That's prosperity. That's what God is looking for. See? That's what he's looking for. He's looking for children who are faithful to do what he wants them to do. Praise God. Now, so that's why it's important you pay your tax. Make sure you're doing that. It is you're participating in prosperity. Now, I want to share the next part with you. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. It says, 
And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now I'm going to continue from here tomorrow. Praise God, because we're out of time. You know, it's all right. Tomorrow we'll continue. Have the best day ever today. God bless you. Bye-bye.